Now, to do that, we have actually three race classes. So there's actually three different types of aircraft that are racing. Uh, we have the open class, which as it sounds, it's wide open to any manufacturer, any team that can pr produce any type of concept and configuration of its powertrain possible. Um, that's in the open class. Then we have a performance class, which is a very specific standard two spec uh, powertrain that we're building in house and we're working with industry leaders. You'll hear some announcements about that very, very soon uh, to build a standard uh, powertrain. Uh, and we're gonna be issuing those out to teams. And then the vertical class, a very exciting eVTOL class. Um, what I'm gonna be talking about today is a little bit more specific to the open class. Now, here are our open class teams. Uh, we've already got 17 registered, so they're at various levels of building and getting started to actually develop their, their, their planes. Some of them are very advanced, uh, and they're actually gonna be uh, test flying and training and qualifying all the, the aircraft later this year. So it's a very, very fast and aggressive timeline. But very exciting teams come from all over the world, all different types of backgrounds. So let's take you into the technology a little bit more. Okay, so cool stuff. Now we're getting into the fun stuff, of course. Um, look, this slide is, is really busy, really crazy. You don't really have to read this slide. It's just meant to indicate that there's a set of rules. It's a formula. So this is a formula race. We have a formula set of rules, a list of criteria that the teams have to meet to be able to uh, build their aircraft and run the race. So it describes how the planes are built and how the format of the race is. And there's quite a lot of details to this um, and it's very exciting, but they can, the output is all different unique uh, permutations of, of a race aircraft. So uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of our kind of teams that are kind of leading the way. Uh, this uh, PRNS, the first one here is a great team from Switzerland. And they're exciting because they're, it's a completely ground up, totally new construction aircraft. Uh, working with uh, you know different materials um, to you know to, to build the aircraft, um, you can see obviously the distinguishing feature there is the the V tail. So that actually takes one of the surface areas away, of course, decreasing drag. Um, these guys are distributing the batteries across the wings, um, and you know what's actually really great about this team is that they're actually building this race plane for Air Race E, but this actual plane will be produced later for the consumer market. So they're, they're ab absolutely able to sort of test every aspect of the plane here in, in a racing environment and then be able to, uh, to actually produce it later. Uh, our team from the Netherlands, uh, this is actually a university-based team. Um, these guys are also working with a very uh, interesting, totally new concept uh, of, air, of airplane in terms of it being a ground up design. Uh, you can see they've got a, a clever feature in theirs, which you can see is a contra rotating propeller. So it's two coaxial based motors that uh, are spinning the two propellers in opposite directions, thereby balancing the torque of the motors and of course also adding a redundancy to it. Um, but what's really interesting and in innovation here for these guys is that they're, they normally in a plane like this, you'd have one wing. So it'd be a single wing going across the airplane. These guys have three wings. Effectively, there's one under the, under the belly, which is fixed to the fuselage and two pieces that come, two end pieces that come off. Now that is actually geared up, geared towards making the shipping and the logistics much easier because we're gonna be racing all around the world. Now, what that means is, of course, they're very limited on space and the structural integrity of the aircraft is very important. So uh, lots of innovations going on here and, and lots of engineering challenges as well. Um, so Team Tor is uh, from uh, Norway. Uh, these guys are a great team. What they're doing here, they're approaching a little bit different. Their method is actually to retrofit an existing race plane. 
So they're taking uh, an existing Formula One race plane, they're taking out the combustion engine, and they're putting on the electric powertrain. So uh, what that allows them to do is have, it's a more simple system, which allows them to focus on lots of innovations in the subsystems, such as the cooling and, and the aerodynamics and, uh, and the drag and, and, and all the other little pieces that, that support the powertrain. So these guys are really working in that sense. And what they're going to do is also be transferring their findings and the technology that they're developing in these subsystems in Air Race E, they're gonna be transferring that to an actual aircraft, a seaplane, electric seaplane that they're producing to be, uh, to be manufactured. So another great validation and example of how air racing is used to bring products to market. Team Scramasax uh, is uh, one of our French teams. Uh, these guys are also approaching it from a retrofitting point of view. They're, they're uh, taking a Cassett 3M, which is kind of the classic race plane. And these guys are kind of keeping it simple. What they're doing is they're taking the classic race plane, they're taking all off the shelf components and putting them together in an optimized way. They're focusing on things like the wing structure, the wing shape. So you can see here in the picture that it's a, it's a square wing, what we call in racing a slab wing. And these guys are gonna be taking that, making it more aerodynamic and reshaping the cowling to fit an electric motor and so on. So they're gonna be focusing on, on that uh, aspects of efficiency. Our team Mobius is from Texas. Um, and these guys have a really innovative idea about the motor. So they're, they're actually approaching this from inside out and their focus really is on the motor here. And they're also gonna be producing this motor down the road. So they're using AIRAC as a testbed for a completely new innovation. What they claim uh, is the first ever cellulose fiber 3D printed motor. Now what that allows them to do is take about 85% of the steel out of the motor, obviously increasing its weight and, and bringing some other benefits to it, um, and also some engineering challenges uh, that they have to also test to make sure that it's, uh, it's a, a solid, solid product. So innovations inside and out happen all across the series. Um, last team I'm gonna mention here today is another French team. Um, these guys are also approaching it from a retrofit, but what makes them kind of exciting is that these guys come from air racing. So it's a, it's a, it's a previous Formula One air racing team. Uh, they've been very involved in our Air Race One events. So they're able to approach it from an innovation standpoint on the team operations side. They'll be able to have the experience of one foot in the conventional racing world and the other foot in the electric, and they can compare the two and take the best of both worlds and really you know, transfer and migrate that that knowledge uh, and expertise uh, from an operational point of view to see how how to get the most out of out of these planes in a real racing environment. Um, I'm going to play another quick video uh, just to give you an idea of uh, this is one of the one of our team's planes uh, that was uh, kind of unveiled last year at the Dubai Air Show, and uh, just give you a quick idea of this. This is a really, really exciting moment for us. We're here at the Dubai Air Show to showcase the first ever electric race plane. So racing around an oval circuit, around pylons, all eight planes together, passing, weaving, winding. So it's pure motorsport and real racing. We help building up a whole ecosystem around electrification. It can be picked up by our urban air mobility or even scaled by our bigger Airbus airplanes. Okay, well, uh, hopefully you found uh, the video and, and, and everything we've talked about so far today uh, a bit interesting. It's, um, you know, for us, it's a pleasure to share this. It's a really, really exciting project. There's so many, so many people involved, hundreds of people involved with this. Uh, AREC is really at the cutting edge of the technology. We're taking electrification forward. We're an open platform. So everyone here in the audience today uh, is welcome to participate. There's a place for everyone and every individual and every organization and every company. So we encourage people to get in touch and come out. 
um, there's a lot to learn, a lot to be shared, and uh, we're going to uh, work on uh, shaping the future together. So thanks again for your time, um, and uh, we'll speak again soon.